Can you really install a cheap junkyard supercharger on your junkyard LS? What happens? Let's find out. Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder. I'm at West Tech Performance, but before we get going, welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a video I did a while back. We took a junkyard M90 supercharger from a 3800 V6 and attempted to run that on a 4.8 liter V8, a canned 4.8 no less, that made 375 horsepower. The problem was our little supercharger was only designed to feed 240 horsepower. Stock pulley, stock throttle body, stock blower. Unfortunately, it wasn't big enough or didn't flow enough at that speed to satisfy the needs of our V8. Well, how do we solve this problem? Well, I did just that. The first thing I did was step up to the later Gen 5 supercharger. So we had a better supercharger. We also had a bigger throttle body. That particular blower comes with a bigger throttle body. So we solved two of the problems. But still, that was only designed to feed the needs of a 260 horsepower V6. We still had a 375 horsepower V8. How can we make it even better? Well, we can change the pulley size. These come with a 3.8 inch pulley. That doesn't spin the blower fast enough to feed the needs of the V8. Or does it? Just to find out, we ran it with that pulley, but I also ran it with a three inch pulley and an even smaller 2.6 inch pulley. And I ran it with E85. Lots of good stuff. How did the V6 blower do on the V8? Let's find out. Before getting the motor up on the dyno, we installed the Holly High Ram. First came the O-rings. On goes the high ram. Okay, we've got our high ram on. So we've got our O-ring in here. Got our bolts on. Now it's time to install the fuel rails and then the lid. Yeah, let's make some dyno runs. We've got our NA motor up. We're gonna run that, find out, and then swap over the M90. Fingers crossed this time that it makes a boost. Let's go find out. And then you run. Okay, we got the blower loosely bolted in place. What we're gonna do is get everything aligned and then we'll tighten it down on the intake manifold. Right now, we're gonna take the belt off the naturally aspirated combination and I have a different belt we have to install with this particular pulley. We're gonna start out with the stock 3.8 inch blower pulley, but don't worry, this time I brought spare pulleys I'm gonna show you. I've got a three inch pulley and a 2.6 inch pulley. Both of those take a different belt because, you know, a shorter belt, it's a smaller pulley. That's what happens. We'll start out with this and see like last time, does this thing actually make any boost basically in stock trim? Will it do that on this LS? And if not, let's crank up the boost. All done. So what I'm gonna do now is we've got the belt on, we've got it kind of lined up. 
I'm gonna crank it over a couple of times and see if the belt wants to stay on there, just to check. And then if it does, we can tighten the blower down, snug everything down, we're in place, and ready to rock. Here we go. And looks like we're okay. Let's tighten it up, buttercup. Okay, we made the runs with the 3.8 pulley. Now it's time to install the three inch pulley. Let's go. Okay, we got our 3.0 pulley installed. We replaced the 3.8. Let's find out how much more boost we have and how much <laughs> Fingers crossed, more power. 3-0 pulley. pulley went up from 111 kPa brought it up to about 140 kPa so now we're going to install the 2.6 pulley and see how much more boost we can get Okay, got our 2.6 inch pulley installed. I'll be real surprised, honestly, if we don't get belt slippage. This is a really small pulley, and ideally this would be configured in a different way so that we would have more you know, tensioners on it and more idlers on it to get better belt wrap. But you know, maybe even an eight rib or something. But let's find out how much we can run and you know how how many RPM before we maybe get into belt slippage. But we should make more boost down low and we should see a significant change. So let's find out. Okay guys, let's jump right in and find out how the little Junkyard M90 did on our cammed Junkyard 4.8 liter. So we have a 4.8 liter and this is the one I already have a video up on. There were all kinds of problems with this motor, but we end up fixing them all. It had a flat camshaft and a bad lifter and a rocker and all kinds of things. And we ended up putting it back together and making it work and it works as a pretty good test motor. So this one was equipped. The only modifications that we made to this thing, we had long tube headers on it and we had mufflers on this. We also had a Holly High Ram and that was necessary so that we could use the adapter plate and swap on the supercharger because it was designed to work with that Holly High Ram. So we ran the High Ram with the lid and 102 or 105 millimeter throttle body. You'll also notice on this that we ran full accessories on this, whereas in the last video, I ran it NA with the electric water pump and then put all of the stuff on when we put the blower on. This way, we're running the accessories on both of them, both the NA and the supercharged combination. And then all we had to do for this configuration using the high ram was take the lid off and then install the supercharger, install a different belt, and away we go. The 4.8 liter was equipped with 80 pound injectors. We had a Holly HP management system, obviously to dial everything because it's very important to get the right air fuel and timing. And because we had enough fuel even to go to E85, which we would eventually do with a supercharger, everything was basically set to go. So we've got a 4.8, it has accessories, it has mufflers, it has the high ram, it has a Brian Tooley Racing NSR truck Norris cam, and it even has stock springs on it. Something that's very interesting when you see how high we're revving this motor, it turned out pretty well. But run in this configuration, basically our cammed and high rammed 4.8 liter, otherwise LR4 kind of junkyard motor, produced 375 horsepower out there at 
made peak power at 6700 rpm you can see we ran it all the way out to 7000 rpm and made peak torque of 329 foot pounds of torque here at 5400 rpm and here's what happened after we simply removed the lid on the high ram and installed the super richie adapter plate with the m90 supercharger the m90 supercharger was configured first with a stock size 3.8 pulley but because it has a hub this was a ZZP 3.8 inch pulley it also had had the factory uh, Gen 5 throttle body on this thing and I just made the Super Richie uh, manual adjustment or throttle throttle linkage for it. I'm going to show you a photo of that. But here's what happened when we ran the 3.8 3.8 pulley with the blower on it. It did indeed make more power than the NA combination showing that even if we spin the blower as it was used to produce 260 horsepower on the 3.8 liter, it can make a lot more power. It just did it at a much, much lower boost. According to the data logging on the Holly, this was 111 kPa, so not much more than 100 kPa, which translates for the guys out there to 1.6 pounds of boost. But running 1.6 pounds of boost, this combination produced 389 horsepower and peak torque checked in at 330 foot pounds. You can see it was pretty much better all the way through. And as we were to find out, we actually could run a couple more degrees of timing. All of this was run on pump gas. And because we were only running a pound and a half to boost, we basically could run kind of NA timing with it. We actually took a couple of degrees out as we transitioned into boost, but the NA combination was running 29 degrees. But so right off the bat, we were very, very happy. Our little Gen 5 M90 Junkyard Supercharger was actually making, you know, 386 horsepower. It had actually had made 1.6 pounds of boost on our Junkyard 4.8. But let's find out now what happens when we crank it up. Okay, guys, we're taking a look at what happens when we ran our naturally aspirated 4.8 liter with the high ram, and then what happens when we install the little M90 supercharger with a 3.8 inch pulley. Now let's find out what happens as we go up in or down in pulley size, but go up in boost with the corresponding pulley. So this is our 4.8 liter with the M90 supercharger. The stock throttle body has the 3.8 pulley on it. You can see we're getting up near 390 horsepower almost. 329 foot-pounds and here's what happened when we replaced the 3.8 inch pulley with a 3.0 inch pulley and I want to ask you guys what do you guys think is going on here 5900 the power actually started to level off there are two things that we would look at there one would be boost but according to the log on the Holly HP there was basically no change in KPA normally when we see something like that we would see a falling boost curve but it was consistent. It was the same as it was with the other runs. And so I don't know, this wasn't a leak or anything and, and the belt was not slipping because we would later run an even smaller pulley with, and have good success with it. And the other thing we would look at there is timing, but the timing changes, it was consistent from 5,000 out to 6,500 RPM. So <laughs> let me know what you think happened there. Uh, but at any rate, we were up, we were up to 415 horsepower and 382 foot pounds again still uh still 91 octane pump gas because we're not making very much boost this was 140 to 141 kpa which means we went from 1.6 pounds up to about six pounds and then our final test was with the 2.6 inch pulley and the power jumped up, you know, railroad tracking, basically power gains everywhere, up to 451 horsepower. Peak torque was up to 423 foot-pounds of torque. And you could see as we went up in boost, we, we went up in power, which is not really surprising. The final test that we did was to install, we, we replaced the 91 octane with E85, even though we're talking about with the, the 2.6 inch pulley, we had 155 to 157 kPa, which is uh, about eight pounds. But here's what happened when we ran E85. And you could see uh, we also added, we, we ran E85 first, and then we added another couple of degrees of timing. But the combination of the two, the E85, as it does, added power all by itself. And then the extra timing added power all by itself. We were up to 487 horsepower. 
and peak torque was 453 foot-pounds of torque. So obviously the supercharger will support somewhere near, <laughs> certainly somewhere near 500 horsepower. It would have been nice to have gotten to the 500 horsepower number. We didn't have any more pulleys. The 2.5 was the smallest blower pulley and we were running the factory truck uh, damper on this, which means that out at 6,500 RPM, where we were revving this motor to, we had uh, 18,600 or so uh, RPM on the blower, which is quite a bit. I've been told that they run these things to 20,000, but you can see we were already kind of past the power peak on this thing, which is kind of surprising given the fact that the NA combination made peak power at 6,700. So what do you guys think? Are we running out of airflow going into the throttle body? I did not measure vacuum there at the throttle body. I definitely would like to work with the guys from Jokers and do a ported version of this man or ported version of of this blower housing, both the inlet and the outlet. I'd like to put a giant size throttle body on this thing because we also ran into another problem, which I'll go over in another video. Um, the factory throttle body, we did not have the TPS plug the way that we have for your, your typical NALS throttle body. So we ran it without a TPS and that later on I'll, we'll talk about in the other video what kind of problems that created. Um, but I would like to put a giant size like four inch opening on this thing and like 105 millimeter throttle body. But that's a, a test for another day. Right now, I'm happy with the success of running the Junkyard M90 on the Junkyard 4.8 liter. And also the fact, like I said, that we're running this motor with stock springs and that Brian Tooley Racing uh, NSR Truck Norris cam all the way out to 7,000 RPM with no problem. Armature holder, please make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.